Hi, hello, when I come and welcome back to yet another episode to your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to answer one of the another performance engineering question, which is what happens if uh, or what is going to be a next action if the database queries have a high response time. So this video is going to talk about what is your next course of action if your DB queries have high response time and you're going to deal with one of the issue. So which is like one of the solution to fix this issue, which is when it comes to optimizing the queries, we are going to see about the query refactoring. So what is query refactoring is what we are going to see and how to do that or what are the key steps in the query refactoring and I'll go, I'm going to explain you uh, how to do the query refactoring with, an, with a simple example. So uh, before we move on to this video, let me first explain you what is a query refactoring and then we'll go on uh, and see what are the key steps in doing the query refactoring. So the first part is, um, so before we even move on uh, to uh, the query refactoring, so if you find the database queries have a high response time. So the next course of action involves several steps to diagnose and address the issue effectively. And we all know uh, we do the analyzing and the monitoring of the performance. So we use the monitoring tools where we use the database monitoring tools to identify the slow queries and gather performance metrics. And also we use the logs and metrics to review the database logs and the metrics to find the patterns or any specific queries that are consistently low. And also we even do the query profiling where we use database profiling tools to analyze the execution plan of slow queries. So when it comes to optimize the queries, in fact, we saw about the indexing on uh, how to do the indexing on different types of indexing in our previous video. I, in fact, will uh, take you through uh, how to do this indexing, indexing with a, a very valid uh, working examples in our next video. But in this video, I will show you about the query refactoring. So what is query refactoring? How will you do that? So rewriting or refactoring slow queries to be more efficient is what is called as query refactoring. And this involves breaking down complex queries into simpler ones or removing unnecessary operations. So that is the query refactoring. And I will take you through an example as I've told you. And what are the key steps in query refactoring? So we're going to see that. So the first part of it is identifying the bottlenecks so we have to use query uh, okay before that um, let me explain you again like what is query refactoring in a, in a brief way so query refactoring involves rewriting a database query to improve its performance without altering its functionality or the results in its return so if we are refactoring the query it doesn't mean that we are going to miss any of the data or we are going to alter the functionality. What we're going to do is we are going to rewrite the query without altering its functionality or the results. So that's very important. And that's your, that is the one thing which you're going to achieve after this query refactoring. And this process will help to optimize the query execution time, reduce the load on the database and make better use of indexes and other database resources. So yeah, now let's come to the uh, first part, which is key steps in query refactoring. So the first part is identifying the bottleneck. So how will we identify, how to identify the bottlenecks? So we have to use query analysis tools like explain or describe in SQL databases to understand the execution plan and identify where the performance bottlenecks are. And I will show you uh, uh, after this, uh, I mean, in, during this video, but I'll explain you like how to do this or how to explain, use this explain in your SQL database. And the second part is, the second part, which is, simplifying the query so we have to break down complex queries into simpler sub queries or views if possible that is another way of optimizing your database query and then the third one the third way is to optimize the joins so we have to ensure that the joins are efficient by using the appropriate type which is we have to use the inner join or left join or inner uh, outer join or right join or whatever is possible so we have to use these joints in an appropriate way and make sure the join conditions are indexed so that is another way so we have to make sure the join con conditions are indexed by doing this you can optimize the query and moving on to the next part which is 
reducing the data volume. So we have to use filtering using the where class and limit the number of columns selected. So because the select specific uh, using select instead of the select star will get us the specific columns and this will limit the number of columns selected and this again will in turn reduce the data volume. And then coming to the fifth one, which is utilizing the indexes. So when it comes to utilizing indexes, we have to ensure the query is making optimal use of indexes and this may involve adding or adjusting any indexes that we already have in the databases. And then finally, the sixth one, the final one, which is avoiding subqueries in select. So wherever possible, we have to avoid subqueries in the select statement and we have to use, I mean, we have to consider using the join operation instead. And this will definitely help us to improve or this will definitely help us to optimize the query. And in fact, this is another way of refactoring the query to improve their performance. So now let's move on to the example. Yeah, so now I will explain you this query refactoring with a real time example. And for that, uh, the, I'm, uh, you're going to use two queries. One is a original query, which will actually have higher response time and uh, it's due to the subqueries. And then we're going to refactor it using the uh, joins. So here, uh, the scenario is we want to find the details of customers who have rented films from the action category. So if you go to the database, so here you can see, um, this is not the query which I'm going to use. Yep. So um, let me tell you the scenario first. So we want to find the details of customers who have rented films from the action category, including their address details, the staff num member who processed the rental. And we will also include the customer's first name, their last name, email address city country film title and staff members first name and last name so the original query is here so i'm going to run it through the uh, jmeter i'm going to the original location and here I'm, i've pasted it let me remove this for a moment since I've, i really do not need this for this example so let me disable it and let me save it and let me run this query and we will see how much time does it take. So this in fact uh, took 73 seconds. So now I'm going to do a refactoring of this query where I'm going to replace where I have refactored the query using join. So this refactored query replaces the subquery with additional join. So if we go to the query, so here we have got a subquery on top of the original query, right? So if in case if you are seeing this in, in your example or in your uh, actual project you're running, so the way you have to replace it is you have to replace this subquery with additional join, which will improve the performance by allowing the database optimizer to make better use of the indexes. So let me uh, replace the query. So I've replaced the query with the joins. And now let me run this again. So I'm not going to replace uh, clear it so that we can see the response times. So let me start. So now we can see previously it was 73 seconds and now it is almost like 51 seconds. So this is just an example. So if you were seeing it for like a huge amount of users or like for, for more number of users, you might definitely feel the difference, right? So previously it is like 73 seconds and now it is like 51 seconds. The difference is almost like 22 milliseconds, which if you are running it for like more than 1000 users or more, more than like 10,000 throughput, just imagine the amount of response times that each query will trigger and how much the time does it take. So let me just explain it. Uh, so avoiding subquery. So previously we had a subquery So previously we had a subquery. So the refactored query removed, let me, uh, in fact, even I can paste it here. Uh, yeah, so here is it. So the, the previous query. So we have removed the query. Uh, we have removed the subquery by joining the film category and the category tables directly. And then we have used joins. So this allows for direct 
joins between tables which can be optimized better by the database engine and compared to the subqueries and then we have improved the readability so the query is more readable now without any nested subqueries and it's easier to understand the relationship between the tables and then uh, there is another way so we uh, to further improve the performance we can ensure that the relevant col relevant columns are indexed so we will see that in our next video like how does uh, this indexing works like we'll go we'll see like with single indexing with multiple indexing and then with all different sorts of indexing in a separate video like this and then now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this explain and see how does this work because this explain, like when we use this explain statement, we can compare the execution plans before and after the refactoring to ensure the performance improvement. So let me copy the code and I'll go to the databases. And then I'm going to use the database explain. So when I click on execute, so here you can see uh, this explains, explain uh, tell us that what is the query structure. So the select type is simple and there's a subquery yeah you can see here this is a subquery too and what are the partitions we have and what are the possible keys we can select and what are their primary keys we have or we we can select and what is the key length their reference their rows so this will actually help us to understand like what is the complexity of the query and in other terms if i run the other one so let me just run run it again um let me run uh, another one which is the refactored query when I execute it so here you can see the materialization has come down like let me okay i can i can even run the old query here so that you can do a comparison uh yes yeah so here if you see uh, we have got two materialized select types but here we do not have any of these materialized select types and then when we see there is a subquery in the original query but in the refactored we do not have any subqueries and also uh, the rows that we have filtered has been increased drastically the rows uh, the references we do not like we have used less number of keys we had we do not uh, uh, manipulate we do not even went into multiple uh, columns and tables to uh, select the query so in fact this is another way so we can run this explain and you can see how does this works or how does this um, your table has been structured or your query is been structured so this i mean run this explain and see uh, like understand how does this work so now let me explain in detail like uh, what what is being changed and how does the performance has been improved so in the original query execution plan the subquery execution so, so the subquery cat and the fc uh, runs first which filter the category so the fc is the filtering of categories to action and retrieves the corresponding film ids so that is what has happened in the subquery so if you see here we have got two subqueries the cat and the fc so the subquery cat in the materialized subquery here you can see the materialized subquery thing uh, and the fc runs first which filters the categories to action and retrieving the corresponding film ids and then the cat actually scans all the rows because there are no indexes being used so by using just using var and then it comes to the main query execution. So after the subquery materializes the film IDs, the main query begins with F, which is the film table, and then the table S, I, R, C. So if you see uh, S, I, R, C, whatever the table name is, here's our A and C, I. So they are joined using various keys and indexes. So the problem of this is the problem, the use of a subquery requires a materialized view of the subqueries result set which is adding overhead and then scanning the cat table which is the one if you see here the category table without an index is inefficient and some steps use a join buffer which is we call as hash join which indicates there is a potential inefficiency when handling larger data sets so when it comes to the refactor query execution plan we have used direct joins so that the refactored query uses direct joins from 
category. So that's the first table that's been executed to FC, which is the film category, to F, to the film, which eliminates the need for a materialized subquery. And the cat still performs a full table scan using var condition, but it's part of the main query's join process rather than a separate subquery. So the main query execution, the table F, FC, S, so whatever the tables you see here are joined directly here. You see they are joined directly and the indexes are used effectively wherever applicable. So the improvements here are we have eliminated the subquery. So by removing the subquery, reduced the overhead of materializing the subquery result set. Better use of joins. So direct joins allow the database optimizer to potentially reorder joins for better performance. Index usage. The, the query plan shows that indexes are being utilized where available, reducing the need for full table scans and joining buffer reduction. So we have reduced the reliance on join buffers, which indicates more efficient join operations. So overall, using the uh, query refactoring, the performance is improved due to the elimination of the subquery and more efficient use of joins. We have used indexes uh, in a more consistent and effective way and join operations are more optimized reducing the need for join buffers and increasing query speed. So in essence, the refactored query leverages the database's ability to optimize the join operations better and avoid the overhead associated with subqueries. This results in faster query execution and better performance, especially as the size of the data grows. So even after you explain all these, that avoiding the subqueries and use joins, the next question from your interviewer will be, what if there is no subquery? This will be your next question. So we will meet to fix that scenario in our next video. Until then, it's bye-bye from Mr. Shanmugam and your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. Bye-bye.